Hello everyone. Uh, what we have here today is a Hakko FX951 sonic iron. So we're just going to show you a very simple video. So this um, sonic iron that I have here is um, a iron that is brand new um, out of the box. Um, I just plug it into a power here and what I want to show you is how to actually um, use this properly because when, when you get it new, you're very excited, okay, what you will usually do is just going to plug it in, okay, and what will end up happening is when you just plug it in and power it on, okay, you're going to get a CE error, okay, and that is saying, hey, we're not, um, 10 pieces not plugged in, there's nothing in there, it'll give you a very annoying beat, turn that off, okay, so first thing that you have to do is plug in the um, hand piece, okay, and then afterward I'll show you in a different angle, okay, and what you have to do is you plug in the um, sliding tip, okay, as well as the um, assembly, okay, in order for this iron to work properly, because if you don't do it properly, okay, you're going to get another error, and often time okay, you might think that the iron is broken, but whereas that is not the case, we just have to assemble it properly in order for it to work. So the first thing we have to do is plug in the actual handpiece. Okay, make sure that is nice and tight. Okay, now the next thing is I'm going to do this and show you the actual error that you're going to get. Right here, the handpiece does not come with the actual sonning tip here. Okay, so you have to get a uh, sonning tip, which is not actually included in the uh, package, so that's extra. And um, what is actually included is okay, it's the um, tip assembly. Okay, so this one is included in the package. You can include one in there. Okay, now without the actual tip, okay, the iron is not going to work. Okay, and when you turn it on, it will give you another error. Okay, so instead of CE, okay, you're going to get a 5E error, and the 5E error means the tip is not sensing, sorry, the handpiece is not sensing a tip. Okay, so let's shut it off. So now what we have to do is we have to put the tip in to the handpiece okay, along with the assembly. So what we do here is, okay, first thing, we're going to slide it in there. Okay, and what you want to do is make sure it clicks. Okay, so you have to push it in quite a bit and make sure it clicks. Because if it doesn't click, okay, and we do it in a way that it doesn't click. Okay. If you think this is inserted properly, this is not. Okay. If you see this ring, then that means it's not inserted properly. Now, what happens is if I do put it in like this, let me put it into the um, handpiece. Okay. When I put in the handpiece here, okay, you will think that it went in nice and tight. Okay. But what happens is the tip is actually not in there properly. It's not properly inserted. Okay. And when it's not properly inserted, the end here is not actually not touching um, the temperature sensor. It's not heating up. Okay. So when that's the case, when you turn it on, okay, it will give you the same 5E error, which is the temperature sensor error. So let's shut it off. Okay. And this time I'm going to push it in properly. Oops, I think I might have to take the uh, assembly out first before I can push it in. So let's just hold on to the uh, clip here, take the assembly out. Okay. I'm going to make sure that it's in. Make a clicking sound, make sure it's tight. Now we're going to put it into the uh, handpiece that clicks. Now when that's the case, turn it on now. Okay. Iron is going to heat up. Okay. It will go all the way up to the preset temperature. Okay. It actually heat up very, very fast. Okay. So after a few seconds, it will go up to all the way to the uh, temperature that we set, which is 750, and you can actually see some smoke coming out. Once you hit the 750 temperature, we do a little beep, and now you're good to uh, do your soldering.